Southern Section champion. And no on three, no on three. One, two, three, no on. Here last year in the division. They are qualifying for the state meet. So qualifying for the state meet. And he will be the division one Southern Section champion. Division one Southern Section champion. Battle, Ariaga 2018 Southern Section Championships here at Riverside Championship Course here with great O coach Doug Souls just came off winning their fifth consecutive boys title in Division One. So it's at the stage a little bit here. There was a restart on the second try. Two of the kids from Great Oak went down among the last ones to get up. So Quinn running from behind. You already had one kid that was down. Gabe Abs was not in there today. Correct. So a new face in there. And we had a kid that from Woodbridge had a, had an off day at Woodbridge. Didn't go to Bob Furman. That being Ryan Shields, yep. he was your number two man today, top ten finisher. The depth is always there. We saw that today. Yep. How as far as seeing Ryan come back and seeing how the whole team handled the full situation, your thoughts? Um, you know, we we didn't have Noah Nevins. He warmed up and just wasn't able to go today. So we actually had two alternates wow. in there. So we didn't have Gabe or Noah, who were two of our top five at Woodbridge. Um, and the alternates ran really well, stepped in there. But our seniors, you know, they, Noah gave it a go. He just wasn't able to do it. He's got a little strain in one of his uh, front muscles in his leg and, and wasn't able to do it. So uh, I told the boys to get out there and run for Noah. And Ryan Shields and Cameron Hilton took that seriously. It's why they're all seniors. And, and uh, I think he, they, they want to go out there and run for their boy. They did. So, you know, it's, it's nice to have the depth. We don't have to worry that much because we know the next guys in are just as good. So we were able to put in some good guys and they stepped up. We will have Gabe Abbas back uh, next week. Uh, one of the coaches in Division One said basically, one of the top teams in Division One basically said, you know, Great Oak is so good, we have, uh, we can probably beat them one out of ten times, and we have to hope and pray that we catch them on an off day and we're on our best day. You guys make it very difficult for all those teams to ever find that. You guys are always on, filling in in a sense. You mentioned what you told the kids beforehand, the seniors, but in general, what's the mindset for postseason? Uh, well, if they were going to beat us, it was going to be today. So. Uh, I don't think that that's going to occur, but um, no, it was. It's uh, our our kids are ready. You know, we we're able to with the depth that we have. Our boys haven't raced since Mount Sac, so you know they the, all the B team kids stepped in and covered all the other races and, and allowed us to train. We've had some real heavy training weeks in here, and it affected a few of them. Uh, Chris Verdugo was a little heavy leg today, uh, but you know we got to train through this because we've got state and NXN that's our real focus, and and uh, so we do our best to train through Southern Section Finals. Then we'll break it down a little bit next week for state and a little bit more for NXN, and hope that we're. Uh, uh, hope that we're fresh and ready to go out there and perform. But, um, yeah, I, I, I like the, the fact that those guys got up and challenged for the front of the race again. Tyler taking second after getting beat up. I mean, he's pretty banged up right now, so hopefully he doesn't have any major issues. But to see him power through for second place, uh, Oklahoma's getting a good kid for sure. Okay, so you're now at the, at the point of the season that you're really focusing on. State and NXN. Where is the team at in terms of where you would like them to be? Are you, are you pretty happy for where you're at right now? Well, I mean, I would like to be a little bit healthier than we are, and that's, you know, sometimes that is what it is. We just uh, we weren't able to stay perfectly healthy, but um, Gabe didn't actually have a running injury. He actually slipped going down some steps and just got a sprain in his foot, and, and so he's, he's kind of been working to get through that, and, and we could have run him today. He actually warmed up, and he just said, no, I think we'll win without you, so we, we, let, we kept him out. He was, he was ready to go out and show what he could do, so I think he'll be fine next week in, in, in XN, so that's good. I, I think overall, at the end of this, you know, you'll look back and go, oh, if we would have had this or would have had that but knowing that Mateo Joseph probably would have been in the top six or seven had he not fallen knowing Tyler probably would have won had he not fallen um, I think that gives us some confidence going in if Ryan Shields can continue to run like this instead of dead last like he was last year at NXN he goes out and competes Cameron Hilton competes uh, our seniors can put us in a very good spot at uh, the next couple of races for sure all right it's November new season great oak at its best thanks coach thank you